Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel Seriously Creative. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to make silicon molds. So I'm not a professional mold maker, but this is just how I make them for my own personal use. Hopefully you find the tutorial helpful and I will also leave some links down below for some other videos. Okay, so what you're going to need is of course some silicon. So I use the Barnes Pinky Sill silicon and it's got six minute work time and 20 minutes until it cures. So you have to work quite quickly with this one. Are you going to need a hot glue gun? Some packing tape or a clear sheet. And this is going to be the base for your mold. You're going to need something to make a border for your mold. So cookie cutters are really good for this. Or you can use cardboard as well. So I'm just going to use this cardboard box. And also something that you want to mold. So I'm going to be making a mold out of crystals and a tray and a bowl. It's a good idea to try and make molds out of items that have got like a flat surface. So these crystals all have got like a flat base so that when I stick it down to mold, um, it's really secure. And also when you take it out of the mold, it's a lot easier because it has a nice um, flat base to like be pulled out from. If you want to save on um, wasting silicone, you can actually just keep the scraps from making other silicone molds. Just use the scraps to like fill in the gaps and put in as much as you like and then just pour the silicone straight over the top and that will just help to fill any um, any big gaps of silicone. So for my first example I'm going to be using cardboard as the border. So I just cut the cardboard to the shape of the mold and then cover it in sticky tape so the silicone doesn't stick to the cardboard. I also make a base using cardboard and then cover that in sticky tape as well. Once you're happy with the border and the base, you can stick them together using a hot glue gun. Make sure that they're sealed properly, otherwise the silicone will leak out. So for the second example, I'm going to be using a cookie cutter. You should try to make sure that you leave about a centimetre thickness around the edge of your piece that you're choosing to mould. So with the cookie cutter technique, I like to use packing tape on the bottom or sticky tape. Um, packing tape is just a little bit thicker and easier to use and I just stick my cookie cutter on top of the packing tape and then stick the pieces inside on top of the tape. And then once again just use the hot glue gun to seal the base and the border together. <laughs> If you're using cardboard or a transparency sheet as the base for your mold, you'll need to use a hot glue gun to stick the piece down inside. Once the molds are ready, you can mix up the silicon. So mine's a one to one ratio and it has a short work time so you have to work really quickly. Make sure you mix both of the parts together very thoroughly. You can then pour the silicon into the mold cavity. Using a thin stream will reduce the amount of bubbles that it produces 
You can also tap the mold to release any extra bubbles as well. And I like to use a heat gun to try and pop some of the bubbles on the surface. I know professional mold makers use a pressure pot and this gets rid of every single bubble that comes out. But because I'm not a professional mold maker, um, it doesn't matter if I have a few bubbles on the surface. So once you've let the silicon cure, you can then take the mold out from its casing. So just peel off the hot glue from the bottom and take off the base and then just pop the mold out. Sometimes I'll use an X-Acto knife or a small pair of scissors or even cuticle cutters to get rid of the excess silicon around the piece. So I hope this tutorial was helpful. Please let me know down in the comments if you have any questions. And thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.